In this video, we're simply going to be talking about what podcast platforms are the best, and it's probably not going to be what you think. Let's get into it. What podcasts are the best? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down what I feel like are the top three platforms for you to actually experience a podcast. Let's get into it. All right, podcasts. Podcasts have actually been something that people can listen to or people can actually watch. Well, my name is Brendan Boyd, and I'm going to let you know exactly why these top three platforms are platforms that you need to make sure that you have on your phone. And the next time you're thinking about actually watching a podcast, you should choose from one of the three. Number one, Apple Podcasts. Why? Because Apple Podcasts is simply one of the easiest platforms for you to experience a podcast. Literally every single podcast known to mankind most likely is on Apple Podcasts. And Apple makes it extremely easy for you to tap into podcasts because they have a podcast app on every single iPad and every single iPhone. And also on a Mac, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you should probably check that. But I know for sure the iPads and the iPhones, right? So Apple Podcasts. Apple is so easy. There's a search option. You literally search. You can search by topic. You can search by title. You can search by hosts. You can search by the name of the podcast. It's going to come up super easy. You hit the play button and you're into it. It's really just that simple. So that would be number one. Number two is probably one of my favorites, Spotify. I'm pretty sure you may have known this as well, but Spotify is an actual dope platform for you to experience podcasts. Why? Because they got a lot of different options. Spotify has a lot of Spotify exclusives like Joe Rogan is on Spotify. He makes a damn lot of money with his podcast. That's a whole nother video. We can break down the Joe Rogan podcast deal. All right. But anyway, Spotify, they have the exclusives on there. Spotify also has a brand new feature that recently rolled out where they're kind of rivaling YouTube. So you can actually watch some podcasts inside of the Spotify app. Spotify also kind of aggregates podcasts where they have playlists as well. So you can save. It's pretty cool. Um, they have podcast suggestions, which is also pretty cool. And Spotify is actually a really big part of South by Southwest. So you can actually experience live podcasts right there annually in Texas. I really, really like Spotify because, you know, they're kind of between Apple and YouTube and they're kind of treading um, and leading the pack when it comes to this space. And it's emerging for a lot of brand new creators that have a podcast. Number three damn near should be number one because I feel like this is where everyone is really going to when it comes to podcasts, whether they're listening or watching, and that's YouTube. Why? Because YouTube is a place where you're going to get your podcast clips in abundance. They got podcast clip channels. You can actually experience your podcast in a multiple different languages on different channels, and you can get your long-form podcast. You can get medium-form podcast, and obviously, we just talked about the short-form. YouTube is extremely popular. It's so popular, in fact, that people will actually watch a podcast on YouTube or rather play a, play a video podcast, but then just listen to it. I literally do it all the time. I'll play a podcast I prefer on YouTube while I'm at the gym, while I'm walking, while I'm in the car, way faster than I would actually go to Apple or go to Spotify. YouTube is the second most searched engine, right? When it comes to not only podcasts, but anything that you want to learn how to do or just do in general, or if you need instructions. And it's only second to Google, which is basically the exact same company, Alphabet. So if people are going to YouTube to search things, to watch podcasting, to listen to podcasts, that's why I feel like it's really the number one place for you to go. So let's just do a quick little recap. Apple for podcasts, their app. Spotify, I feel like is, is kind of leading in a space for creativity and just, you know, doing stuff, something a little bit different. But overall, YouTube, I feel like is the number one place for you to go to watch podcasts and getting in a lot of different experiences. Like we said, short form, medium form, long form, live podcasts, podcasting in different languages, clip channels. Literally, YouTube is where most people are going when it comes to experiencing podcasts. So if you like this video, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and share this video out with three people that you know 
that uh, want to watch their next podcast, all right? All right, y'all, look, I had to interrupt the podcast episode to break down this exciting community that you need to join. Why? Because your podcast, you haven't figured out how to monetize. Maybe you're someone that used to be like me where I didn't really have anyone that can hold me accountable, nor did I have a group that I felt comfortable about. You know what? These are, this is my tribe. I can grow. Well, listen, we put that together. The Action Takers community, I'm teaching you guys uh, monetization secrets, accountability, discipline, how you get better with content. And this is just a group that you want to grow with. Click the link below, join, you get seven days free. Let's go.